Hey everyone, Mr. Kerbible here, recording way, way later than this uh, video was supposed to have come out. Yeah, so this video was supposed to come out about late 2017. I know that's very, very late, but uh, you guys have kind of already been made aware as to some of the reasons as to why I've been behind in video production here and there. But, you know, I thought, hey, I might as well work on it a little bit and just release it for you guys. It's about D&D, &D, um, obviously, from the title. But uh, if you guys wouldn't mind just giving this a like and even just sharing some of your own stories of your own D&D &D characters, I'd really appreciate that. That'd be great. So that's a little bit of context for it. Um, yeah, hopefully I can get some more videos out here in the future, more in line with some of the stuff you guys want, say, like, for cosplay and other things. But you know what? I think I'm just going to put some content out. So we're going to have some content right now. Three, two, one, go. Hey, everybody, this is Mr. Kribble here coming at you in drawing form. Oh, this is, a, this is a change, isn't it? So, short reason, I felt like doing something a little different and just wanted to practice some new things. Anyway, I'm sure some of you know that I occasionally tweet or gram, as the kids call it, some updates whenever I'm playing Sunday Dungeons & Dragons. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty fun. And although I've been, I guess, quote-unquote, playing D&D for the past, like, four years, I'm still pretty new to the whole tabletop RPG world. Like, I'm still asking questions about how to calculate rolls for damage and checks and leveling and saves and all the various things that are necessary in order to be able to play the game effective. Short story, I'm not very good at remembering all the rules and math. I never was really good at math anyway. Although that might change a little bit here in the future as I was finally able to get a hold of my own set of 5e D&D books so that I might be able to pour over them so I can, you know, start building my own campaign. That's one thing I really enjoy about D&D is the aspect of creating characters, worlds, and just role-playing. And while I'm still learning to do better on the actual, or er, uh, playing of D&D, I feel like I've created a few fun, colorful characters over the years. So I thought, hey, might as well share some of them with you. Okay, so way, 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 way back, the very first character I ever created was for D&D 3.5. I'm not very experienced with 3.5, I think I only played maybe one or two games in that before we switched to Pathfinder, and even then, I didn't really pay attention that much, so uh, yeah, I really didn't know that much about it. But anyway, I started with 3.5. He was a human druid named Bartholomew, and I literally had no idea what I was doing when I was creating the character. It was sort of a last-minute invitation to a trial run campaign that a friend wanted to try out. I got the invite and was like, yeah, sure, I should probably play D&D at least once in my lifetime. Anyway, I kind of modeled him in my head after just a, well, a dirt hobo. That was my actual mindset for him. I just pictured him as a guy wearing a friggin' potato sack, having long matted hair, and wielding a quarterstaff. Dirt hobo. Now, being a druid, I was informed that I could eventually get an animal friend. Spoiler alert, I never got to that point with this campaign. So anyway, preparing for my eventual animal friend, I made sure to build my character around animal handling and animal riding. I was going to be prepared for any type of animal. Spiky, furry, slimy, feathery, all would be my friends and they would love me. Anyway, old Bart on the campaign eventually needed to come into town to get... Uh town things. I don't remember exactly what, so let's just say he needed to get some paper plates or something. It was here that he met his party, or rather it was roped into helping these dirty townies defend the town against from what I could remember was basically a giant doom worm. I'm sure that's not exactly what it was, but for the sake of the story, it, it basically was a doom worm. Yeah, a dune worm. You know, looking back on it now, it was most likely a purple worm, which, just so you guys know, is a challenge rating of 15 against five level one characters. To put it simply, that's like turning us into babies and telling us that we had to win a wrestling match by elbow dropping a steamroller made of spikes. I'm not really sure why the DM decided to do a creature like this in pretty much the second encounter. I mean, sadism is my primary theory, but yeah, it wasn't a big deal. Anyway, me thinking that absolutely nothing would happen to old Bart in this second encounter decided that my dirt hobo would attempt to ride the dune worm into submission. The DM looked at me for a good minute before saying, okay, roll. I rolled and met the bare minimum of getting onto the back of this giant dune worm. And guys, I was frigging pumped! I was so ecstatic that I was riding this thing like a freaking rodeo clown. A dirt hobo rodeo clown. From the forest, one with the trees and friends to all animals! It will be my friend! Let the spice friggin' flow!
Unfortunately, I rolled a critical failure in the next round to do a check to hang on, which resulted in Bart being thrown high up into the air and come crashing down to the ground, promptly being body slammed by the dune worm. My dirt hobo became one with the dirt. Bart died. And no one did anything to bring him back. Bart, the dirt hobo. Bart, the worm wrangler. Bart, the boss. He was the glue holding that ragtag group of adventurers together. Eh, I'm just kidding. The campaign was so early that no one had the ability to help me out anyway, so whatever. Old Bart will hold a strange place in my heart, mostly because he allowed me to live out a completely radical fantasy. And that's what D&D is all about, guys. Living out fun fantasies. That's pretty much it with my first D&D character story. If you guys would like to hear more stories about some of my other D&D D &D, D &D, D &D characters, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments below because I have a few others that I actually really connected to. Some I haven't been able to go back and play in a long time, and I'm really hoping to get back to playing them again because I still have their character sheets floating around here and there. Uh, if you guys have your own special D&D characters, be sure to leave it in the comments below and let me know as well. Uh, be sure to hit that like button and all the other YouTube razzmatazz because, you know, YouTube isn't really doing anything to help us out. <laughs> well, any YouTubers, really, so be sure to help out your fellow YouTubers and the ones that you watch. All right, I will talk to you all later. Thanks for listening, watching, whatever you're doing right now. Uh, bye. <laughs>